98 RAV4 5 speed pops out of fifth gear by itself. I'm going to do a quick run through of how to fix that problem for one tenth of what the Toyota dealer will charge you. So, what you're going to need is these three new parts here from Toyota. Okay, I can give you a parts number later. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it ripped apart. Okay, so first things first, pull off the left front tire. Take the splash shield off from here, and then you can just remove this whole cover. And you're right in here with fifth gear. Okay, so step one, you're going to take this here clip off. Then you're going to pull this bolt out and take this fork right off. And I'll show you about that in a minute here. Okay, so I got that clip off. Be careful when you're prying it off because it'll fly off. I just attached a magnet here so it would catch it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, all the edges on fifth gear are worn right, right the frick off. Yeah, this thing won't even focus. But anyways, I pulled the shift fork off and the collar. Um, keeping it in the order that it came off, obviously, because there's only one way that this can go. If you put it the other way, you're not going to have a working transmission. So, yeah, let's keep going. So, <clears throat> to get the whole synchronizer off, you're going to need to have a puller. It's pressed onto the shaft. Uh, sorry about the shitty video camera. But anyways, I just used a harmonic balancer puller kit. Cheap piece of garbage from Princess Auto. Been using it for six years, works great. But anyways, yeah, it fits right on there perfectly. Some guys fabricate a puller onto it. I don't know why you would do that when you can buy this one already ready to go. So pull that off and then we'll start swapping out the synchronizer. Okay, so I've got it stripped right down to the shaft. Um, you can do just a quick inspection of the splines, make sure they're fine, which they are. Um, check all the teeth, they're fine. So I don't know if we'll be able to see really what's going on in this shit camera, but... <clears throat> These top teeth right here, those hold it in gear. They mesh with this. They mesh with these tiny little teeth here. So, on the old one, they're all worn. Okay, that's why it pops out. So, I'm, I don't even think you would need this synchronizer cage. I think all this, all you'd need to fix this would be the new fifth gear and this sleeve. Uh, but anyways, we're putting in a new split bearing, a new synchronizer cage anyways, because it's here. Uh, it was cheap. All the parts all together were 300 bucks. You could easily build this out at three hours and be safe and have a good quality job. So let's carry on. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tip for switching over the synchronizer cage. Um, if you do in fact end up doing that, which I wouldn't advise doing, it's a complete total waste of parts. Uh, all this gut's got to come out of here, and they're all held in by these clips. All of them. See these little tabs all line up in here. But if you look in here, there's a little hole and a little hole. And there's little tabs that come down and have to go in that hole. And what those tabs are attached to are these here springs. So it all has to be lined up absolutely perfectly. You need about eight hands to do it um, and a lot of patience. But again, it's a waste of time, so don't even buy this cage. So, press the synchronizer hub back on. You're going to need a bolt. It is 12 millimeters by 1.5 thread pitch. Okay. Now all I did to make my own press was get a bolt. I used this old synchronizer hub. I put the synchronizer hub right over top of it 
threaded the bolt on with a big washer and just started pressing. You know, thread that on there and just tighten it down and it'll slowly push it on. And you can back it off, throw this old synchronizer out, throw your clip on, and you're pretty near done. Oh, there she is. Shift collar back in place, shift fork back in place, double check, checked snap ring is in there. All you got to do now is clean up the mating surfaces, use that black RTV silicone, not the red garbage. Stick that cover on, fill it with oil, go for a rip. That's that. Save yourself a couple grand. Let you know how she drives. Well, I did it, took it for a drive, holds fifth gear perfectly, it's fixed. Um, I was mistaken earlier when I said that you wouldn't need this synchronizer hub if I could do it over again. Well, you would. So, these parts here are all that you need to fix fifth gear in this RAV4. Okay. Very simple. Um, if I had to do it again, it would probably take me an hour. Vehicle in and out, done deal. But you could probably safely bill the customer three or four hours for this job because it's worthwhile. Because everyone else is going to want to pull this tranny and charge you two to three thousand. So, yeah, there you have it.